year has become a source of controversy tonight at the state's largest university. Fox 25's Ted Daniel tells us some students were briefly told Harambe jokes would land them in big trouble. Tonight, UMass Amherst is the topic of news reports, blogs, and ribbing from all over the country. Harambe the gorilla has been dead for more than three months now, but all it took was one email to resurrect him here. As UMass students walk to dinner, university higher-ups walk back on a new policy having to do with a gorilla named Harambe. People can can um, continue to uh, reference the gorilla. The controversy began when two resident assistants in Sycamore Hall sent this email to freshmen on the third floor. It warned that remarks about Harambe would be considered derogatory and microaggressions that are a direct attack to our campus's African American community. The RA cited Title IX and threatened to report Harambe hijinks to the Dean of Students. I do think they kind of went too far with the whole policy of banning it outright. In May, Harambe was shot and killed at the Cincinnati Zoo to protect a four-year-old boy who fell into his enclosure. It sparked a national debate about animal welfare and parenting. Of course, satirical memes followed. Well, I see people wearing shirts, people have like computer stickers, that it's not racially based at all. People that were like obviously making the comments had no idea about it or like were just thinking of it as a joke like the rest of the world. Harambe also sounds like the Swahili word Harambi, the name of UMass's African Heritage Program located in Coolidge Hall. University spokesperson Ed Blagazuski says the RAs were just trying to be sensitive and he says intentions were good. It needs to be placed in proper context, that's all. A quick internet search already returns more than 10 pages of content surrounding this controversy. Doesn't look like Harambe the gorilla is going away at UMass anytime soon. Reporting in Amherst, I'm Ted Daniel, Fox 25 News. Community policing in Bridgewater.